<laughs> hey y'all we made it we are in tampa and we are finally in the room now i didn't want to bore y'all with the airport details and getting our rental car and all that which that's gonna be a story time because they janky as af but let me show y'all the room so you first walk in we have the mirror then we go into the restroom it's got different lighting i love the mirror so you know i'm gonna be doing my and get ready with me in here um yeah and then they have the shower walk-in shower which is perfect because i don't take baths in hotels i just don't okay um oh look it's like a slide slide in shower and it's clean look as long as i'm in a hotel where it's clean oh yes i'm in heaven okay they got their little um shampoo conditioner shower gel um i bring my own anyway but yeah as long as the hotel is clean i am in heaven although i did like saw you know the important places and this is the microwave um the little coffee machine that i'm not gonna use because they don't clean them and um the little mini fridge um it has the closet here um it has a little couch over there um the nightstands it has the tv and then it has the desk area which is over here but yeah the hotel is nice and clean i'm impressed so far um definitely looking forward to chilling by the pool also there is a bar and restaurant downstairs that opens at five so definitely going to utilize that but yeah we just get in here we just lysawed everything and we about to get settled in so i will see y'all later hey y'all i told y'all i was gonna utilize this mirror um the lighting in this restroom i love okay love so i got my makeup in here i decided to pack my makeup in here i'm not sure if i showed y'all that on my uh packing vacay maintenance vlog but anyways um we're showered refreshed up and now we are getting ready to go to Publix to get some stuff for the beach because we're gonna have a picnic tomorrow a romantic beach picnic um to relax and celebrate 11 years together but after that after we get the stuff from Publix, then we're going to come back here, put the stuff up in the fridge, and then we're going to go hang out at the uh, Riverwalk and see what they have over there. Y'all, I can't. Uh, sometimes this, um, this Elf Illuminating Face Primer, I love it, don't get me wrong, but when you first just pump it like sometimes it just falls like it doesn't dissolve in your hands like you want it to so i have my primer on i have my um spf on so now i'm gonna go in with my estee double wear my favorite foundation i actually hope they have um a store down here because I need to get some more foundation. I need to re up. But I actually want to try a different foundation. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Um, this was a much needed vacation for the both of us. But y'all, I am starving. Like I literally uh, haven't eaten since like earlier this morning, like around maybe seven. And I went to this place um i initially just wanted mimosas for breakfast because that's how i do it uh for vacation uh i have mimosas for breakfast because i have a lot to celebrate in my life right now like i do so yeah and i decided to get their avocado toast because they have avocado toast and 
The avocado toast had feta cheese on it, pumpkin seeds, and um, eggs. Um, and the pumpkin seeds, I was like, oh, okay. Tastes like, I don't know, nothing special about it. Like, it was good, but I feel like they skimped on the avocado for one. They just mashed it into the bread, and then the bread, was soggy. Like when you make avocado toast, the toast is supposed to be somewhat hard, so that way, when you put your toppings on it, you get a crunch. You know, a crunch. That crunch factor was missing. So basically, I just scraped the avocado mash off the bread with the little pumpkin seeds and ate that with the um, egg. So basically, I had more champagne than the food. And those glasses for the champagne were huge, y'all. Like. So huge, like, and then he had nerves. I like him though. He had nerves to come up to the table and be like, do you want another? Sir, why are you asking that? Cause you know I'm gonna say yes. Like, you know I'm gonna say yes. You can see it in my face, I'm gonna say yes. But he was good, he was cool. I love a uh, great customer service. Damn it, y'all, I really wish I had like a beauty blender so I can blend this out the way I want. It's always something that I end up forgetting on vacation. I'm just blend this out with this brush. Because, like, he likes my makeup. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like this? Yeah, look comfortable. Yeah. I'm getting full already, though. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, we did the H bar, which is connected to our hotel. We had a great bartender. She made me a white Russian. What you making, babe? A spicy margarita. With that tahini stuff that I don't like. But it's a white Russian. If you know, you know it's good. Mm. I don't mess with white Russian. When somebody who knows how to bartend knows how to make a white Russian, A1. But these wings are so freaking good. She when I actually it. say, when I say fry hard and they actually fry hard, like, yeah. Like, this is lemon pepper. And it's fried very hard. So we've been enjoying our anniversary. 11 years with this wonderful woman to the left of me, to the right of you guys. <laughs> he know his left from his right, I don't. Yeah, she, we, yeah. we got stuck in downtown because she don't know how to give proper GPS di what? directions. Although it's right there in front of you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, this white Russian though. I'm not holding your hair back. You no, to not that. Mm -hmm. Attempted to go to the river walk, but couldn't find parking. So yeah, we'll try again tomorrow. My screen don't capture what I wanted to capture. Because you have to put your hand behind it. <laughs> Close. <laughs> That don't work. I mean, YouTube is be doing this stuff. Shit don't he, work. He just don't know what he's doing. It's a wing and they sprinkled lemon pepper on it. Now it's cooked to perfection. It's good, but that's not like your typical like lemon pepper wings. It's good, but like it's not like the typical lemon pepper wings that I'm used to eating. Like it's very dry. But anyways, I'll catch up with y'all later. I never really got to show y'all what I got from Publix. So I got some garlic and herb feta dip. I'm gonna put that on my bagels because you know I like the type of stuff. He, I'm gonna just do his plain. Got some salami and basically a charcuterie board trio. Um, got some plastic bowls, put this in. And then these are the bagels that we got. I got some of these, some little mini Prosecco bottles. So
so we can, you know, celebrate because we got lots to celebrate. <laughs> and then we got some of these. These will really uh, help keep our drinks cold. We got some fruit bowls. Then we got these. So whenever we do like happen to like buy like little mini liquor bottles or whatever, we'll have something to mix the drinks with. Uh, why isn't it focusing? This is like one of my favorite brands of energy drinks. Also got some um, rosemary and sea salt crackers to dip the crackers in that cheese stuff I showed you. And then we have some Ziploc bags. After I'm done making the bagel sandwiches, I'm going to put them in some Ziploc bags. So, yeah. She get it from her mama I'ma say you fuck her right Body big is gone for like Dumb me in the humble type Tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go for tonight Posing who she said to right I just wanna live in a fantasy The schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in tussies. Well for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and little baby that going crazy. Weezy produced it and Weezy have made me. And she held it down, so she got a Mercedes. Your money records, the army, the navy. It ran me ten thousand, I threw it like Brady. The foreign is yellow, like Tracy and Katie. I trust in my they never betray me. Met all these they sweeter than Sadie When I started out, I just took what they gave me Did all the favors, they never repay me It worked in my favor, cause nobody said no work, got no keys Tell them I told no stop, <sighs> Hey y'all, we are finally back from the beach It was a fun time It was hot, so I got a little tan um, And then I got in the water And I was in the water for a bit It was just so relaxing Like y'all don't even know, okay? We had a romantic picnic out on the beach um as y'all saw and y'all them little bagel sandwiches i made was fire okay not to mention that garlic and herb dip with those rosemary crackers y'all 10 out of 10 okay um we do have reservations um at haku i think that's how you pronounce the name um but we pushed those to 9 30 because we got to the beach a little later so yeah we got a bit of time before we have to get ready for that but i do want to buy it because it's gonna be a while before we eat again like 9 30. so we're all showered up and clean and just trying to relax after been in the heat all day and we're gonna get some small to munch on and um yeah we'll go from there and yeah so i just wanted to check in oh. This is what I'm wearing. I got this bodysuit from Shein. Um, I got these earrings from Shein also. I don't know if you can see those. Um, these pants I actually got from Amazon. These are different than what I go for, but I was like, this is perfect. Like if I want like something different that I can like put an outfit together. Also, I got these shoes from Fashion Nova and these press on toe nails. You know, y'all already know about that. Um, but yeah, I just need to touch up my edges and then we can go So this is the clutch that I decided to rock with this. So yeah, we gotta go. Bye I know I know I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club
hey y'all it's me again i am back uh from night out first of all i tried haku the ambiance was great the aesthetic was great just like the pictures and videos the food was really good and i mean really good i'm actually mad that i wasn't able to eat it all because i was just so full like i'm still full and i feel miserable but the service was uh, horrible okay first off we get there it took 15 minutes for a waitress to come to us then when she comes to us she briefly introduces herself and says oh yeah uh we have cocktails on the menu so when you get a chance to look you know i'll come back and um you know take your order i said no ma'am ma ma we know what we want to order like at least ask us do you need time to order or are you all ready to order but don't just sit up there and try to rush and leave red flag number one then she come back and we actually ordered our food and our, and our appetizers because we, we already knew like what type of time she was on. Like literally put the food down and leave. Like she would put stuff down and leave. Not ask us do we need anything else. Like very much, oh, I'm going to do the bare minimum. Like she checked on us once. It said, is everything okay? This and that, anything? And I told her I needed a to-go box. She finally comes with the to-go box, puts it down, and walks off don't put shit down and walk off without asking do i need anything else after that she comes with the check puts it down and walks off like huh this place is supposed to be top notch have all these good reviews but the service is trash like yeah i wish i remember her name if she even gave us her name because i'm writing a review i'm a review right now as a bitch excuse my language but yeah uh, that rubbed me the wrong way. The music was cool. The vibe was cool. But I don't like these restaurants that have the music up way too loud. When I was trying to have a conversation. I don't like that. We decided to go to this place called Lit. It's supposed to be like a black owned type of establishment. And it was good vibes. Like they had live music. And that man could sing. He was singing all of the uh, 90s like R&B. It seemed like it was a 30 and up crowd. And y'all we had fun. The only thing I didn't like was the fact that it was so crowded that we could find a seat. But yeah, it's around like 12 something, almost one. But anyways, I'm gonna call it a night and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one Virgil, got one in that dance, the only two, man. How many times have I shown and proved, man? Thank you. <laughs> so tonight is our last night here in Tampa and we're just gonna relax you know we're just gonna chill out because we have an early flight tomorrow okay so went down to the bar chatted with the bartender she got us Judy hooked us up okay if y'all ever come to this hotel which I'm gonna link below ask for Judy she is gonna hook you up she has great customer service and she makes the best drinks okay so um, with that being said, we ordered some food. But first, let me show you the drink I ordered. The Whiskey Moscow Mule. I ordered the wings and told them to fry it hard. They have buffalo. They have lemon pepper. I told them to mix it, and they mixed it. They hooked the girl up. Also got some pork tacos. We got some um, popcorn, shrimp, and fries. Fries and some regular buffalo. So basically, we are going to grub. And we're gonna find a movie to watch but overall i would say this trip was a 10 out of 10 you know we celebrated everything right and i love it for us so yeah if you all enjoyed this vlog go ahead and hit the thumbs up like this video if you already haven't if you're not subscribed 
subscribe like what are you waiting for um also if you're not a part of the notification gang 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 what are you doing go ahead and click that bell so that way you can see when i post videos until next time